I think it's terrific that this drug is approved. It's validating the fact that even though these patients may have a serum testosterone level that's castrate, uh, that uh, further manipulation of the hormone axis will lead to improved outcomes such as survival in this situation. Uh, it's approved for second line after docetaxel. Uh, I, again, like we're seeing with abiraterone, I would expect this to move up earlier. And in fact, uh, one of the big advantages of this drug is that you don't need to give corticosteroids. And you can give it, but you don't, it's not required. And uh, that has implications for immune therapy as well because uh, one of the issues about Provenge is that you can't give steroids within one month of, uh, of uh, starting uh, the, the process. So, uh, so that actually, I think, is going to be an advantage for patients, both post-docetaxel and eventually pre-docetaxel. There are two studies that are looking at that particular question.